Hi right, guys, here I am vodcasting the solutions to um, homework, I believe this is homework 4.1, this is taken from the 2006 examination. Now on first glance on this homework assignment, it looks like what we're looking at is a bunch of different energy diagrams. So let's go through first and just note what we know about each energy diagram. Let's look at the delta H of each first. Now we notice in this one you end up lower. So this one is going to have a delta H which is less than zero. In this one you end up lower. It's going to have a delta H which is less than zero. In this one you end up lower. It's going to have a delta H which is less than zero. And in this one you end up higher. So it's going to have a delta H of greater than zero. So initially they might ask us some questions about delta H. Um, so let's keep our eye on this question. Let's go now and look at the other thing we know about these reactions. We can look at the energy of activation. There is the EA for this graph. There is the EA for this one. Here is the EA there. And we got the EA for that graph. Okay, so let's look at the first question. It says identify the two diagrams that could represent a catalyzed and uncatalyzed reaction pathway for the same reaction. Indicate the two diagrams, um, indicate which of the two diagrams represents the catalyzed reaction pathway for the reaction. So in order to have the same reaction, you have to have the same delta H. So we can get rid of this because there's not any others that are endothermic. And if you look at this one and this one, their, de their delta H's are very comparable. But if you look at this one, it's extremely exothermic. So we're going to get rid of that as well. So here are our two reactions. And when they want to know the catalyzed one, that's going to be the one with the lower EA. So here are our two. And the catalyzed reaction is this guy. So there's the catalyzed one. All right. So we did that. And number two, indicate whether you agree or disagree with the statement in the box below. Support your answer with a short explanation. Okay. So the statement says adding a catalyst. Okay. We know a catalyst increases the rate by decreasing EA. To a reaction mixture adds energy that causes the reaction to proceed more quickly. Okay, we are going to disagree with this. This is false. It does not add energy. Okay, that would be increasing the temperature. It does not add energy. It just decreases the energy required by decreasing the energy of activation. So if we drew a little diagram of this, there's the catalyzed, uncatalyzed reaction, there's the catalyzed reaction. Okay, take care guys. Again, watch out for these. When they talk about adding energy, and we're talking about really right here, that's increasing temperature, surface area, or concentration increasing collisions. With the catalyst, we're not talking about increasing collisions. We are talking about decreasing the energy needed to get to the energy of activation. Take care.